Right, when my mum and dad are near, they, they've passed, I always see a white feather when I'm doing something, when I feel like I'm doing something good or I need to put a white, sorry, you put one feather on your arm. Oh, quite a big field and I cannot get near her. Down with yeah, a little rock, yeah, yeah. and oh. yes, oh, oh. <laughs> right. yeah. you've got a very, very hectic life. I've learned very quickly this morning. Agreed, <laughs> yeah. The only time you get to sit down is in your car, yes. <laughs> what happens if the others come in? No, she's you still can't look catch at his hooves, they're like flat. Look, it's unbelievable, isn't it? Unbelievable, hey guys. Look, that's Albert, um, just a, a shire horse. Look at him. Just what we're going to do then, give it two minutes, we're going to put her in that field. <gasps> okay. What do you think? Yeah. So guys, another video, uh, another trip to a horse. Brilliant video again for learning. A lot of people have got horses that are hard to catch. A lot of people have got horses that have had surgery on kissing spines and how to deal with that afterwards. So real, real good video this is. now. James uploads usually the weekly video on a uh, Friday. Guys, this is my son James uh, and his lovely wife Alex. Uh, now Charlotte's really out there, really confident. James is the total opposite, guys. He's ever so shy. I keep get, trying to get him to to get in front of one of these videos, and it's just not happening. But there's basically six of us with this uh, Stephen Horsemanship team. I'm just the one at the end of the lead rope. You got Charlotte there. You got Tanya. You got James. You've got um, Dan, which is Charlotte's partner, and you've got Mel. We consider it six. But there's James. He's responsible for all the technical side of it. He's a wizard to what he does. Uh, yeah, and he does all the upload, and he, he takes care of all that side of it for us, which I just wouldn't know where to start, nor would Tanya, really. But there's James, and he would have uploaded this video for you. Now, on the Friday when this is uploaded, me and Tanya will be away uh, in Devon and Cornwall for a week. It's something we planned a long time ago to take our touring caravan down uh, with a friend, uh, a very good friend of ours. He was my best man at the wedding, Chris, who makes the Boingen sticks as well. Chris, say hello. Good night. How you doing? So we're, we're meeting down there in our touring caravans. Now what's happened is, uh, Tanya says, Steve, uh, when we're down there, you've actually got a couple, couple of horses to sit. I said, what, really? She said, I said, how many? She said, well, well just, just five. So five of the mornings, I'll could be going to see horses, right? Okay, and on the Saturday, um, uh, that's a week after this video's loaded, before we come back, I've got a clinic to do in Oakhampton as well. A clinic and a bit of a demo because there's apparently quite a few spectators coming so yeah so i'll be busy on our, our holiday hopefully there'll be some good videos to bring back uh, so we'll look forward to them so yeah we'll crack on with this video before i before i do that uh we've just had a video go on it's still james has just rang me and said it, the, the viewing figures on the shire horse uh, owned by becky adams Uh, uh, is 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 just it's caught the interest of so many people, and it's the abused uh, four year old. Uh, some people think he, he he looks like a Clydesdale. He's not. He's a he's a shy horse. It's going it's going uh, incredibly. That video. It's touching a lot of hearts. That video, and uh, we knew the horse had been abused, uh, genuinely abused. But since the video went out, people have contacted Becky with other photographs. I've got lots of, for, for when the update comes, I mean, the horse might come to me. I'm not sure, it depends how things go. Uh, so there will be an update on how things go with Albert, the Shire uh, rescue type of horse. Uh, but I'll show you a little clip now. I've just been sent, all last night I was sent this picture. Guys, look, that's Albert. Um... Just a, a shire horse, look at him. And just look, and just look at his hooves. They're like flat, look. It's unbelievable, isn't it? It's unbelievable. Uh, it's unbelievable what the horse has gone through, and I'm sure that, you know, he's gonna be, the follow-up is gonna be just, if not more amazing to watch, uh, with hopefully massive breakthroughs and a new life for this horse. 
So yeah, I'll uh, get on with the video now. The video starts for real now, and I probably butt him once or twice. <laughs> Basically, I've, I've had her for probably about five years now. Okay. Um, she was started quite early. Yes. So I, I didn't realise she obviously, hence... What's that, the kissing spine? Yeah, oh, hence the kissing spine. And okay, look at this part. Yeah. So, uh, so how long ago was that? So she's literally had surgery. four weeks box rest from the surgery so it's okay. about five weeks ago so there you go guys for those who don't know what kissing spine is it's uh, in the center of the horse's back there on the left you can see a nice gap with the the bone structure there and then you can see where it touches where those three arrows are and that is kissing spine it's very painful for a horse to have a kissing spine and that's where the operation would have put a gap back in those areas where they're touching. And then with rehabilitation, hopefully the horse will allow a rider on without pain again. Kissing spine. These were the injections? No, she's actually had the surgery. So she's, she's had the had bone the... cut and the ligament snipped. Right, okay. And have you had any uh, follow up? Have they done any? <laughs> yeah, they checked her at last Friday. Okay. okay. <laughs> so I'm all right to lunch her now and do a little bit of training. Okay, right. They've but only a tiny bit. bit. They haven't asked you to try and uh, put a head down for that sort of thing? Yeah, so this they is have. where you come in as well, because I wanted a little bit of help with that. Okay. She will not put her head down. In what way? In walk or? Um, in walk she will. If I've got, the, uh, if I've got this on, I've got like a pearly one of this with a bit yeah. of weight here. Yes. But with trot, her head's up. Her head's up, okay. Obviously I've got a pursuer. I didn't write it. You don't? I haven't been to sleep since. I, I, I don't want that in years. But yeah, but trying to get her to relax and put her head to long and low or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, but also, the main have they reason why you, I... If they give you amounts of time they want to do this? At the moment, she's just starting. So two minutes lunge in one way, two minutes the other. Well, five minutes sort of thing. So, but, but, and then but, we've got to build up. So that's all you they've asked you to do is just five minutes? Because it takes longer that to get the heads down? This is a way of shaking them over a little bit and just relax the shake when you see that little drop. Mm. Uh, and then it's like... We have been chewing for all this. Yeah. Oh, thank God for that. So, basically, yeah. it's all right to sort out the ulcers, but there is a cause somewhere. Yeah. So it's going to be stress or pain yeah, or both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, so, but you sort of learn as you go along. And I kept having her back done, her teeth done, saddle checked. You've do learned all a lot. The things, you have you? learned a lot in the time. So and you've had, what, five years? Yeah. So, so you had a five years, so you've done a lot of research Googled, on all Googled, this Googled, stuff. Googled, Googled, and then um, yeah. there was something okay. I just couldn't put my finger on. She'd jump sometimes, not sometimes. Jump sometimes, not sometimes. Yeah. And it wasn't like jump in the, on the soft ground and then out in the jumping field, don't yeah. jump. Yeah. There was a double out there, she'll take you to it, you'll go over it whether you want it or not. Okay. She's like, yeah, let me have it. And then you'd go to the next jump around the corner and she'd be like, no, I'm not doing that one. Well. And then it, it just makes it just not enjoyable then yeah, because yeah, if yeah. she don't want to do it, I don't want to make her do it, but it's okay. it's frustrating why she'll do some and not others. And yes. but um, because she knows she's going to be worked because they they do her twice a week, they ride twice a week. So when they go to catch her, they know they're going to be. She knows she's going to be worked and there's going to be pain, which I didn't realise. So she wouldn't be caught. But for me, I could go up and she just come to me because I very rarely ride. I've had stuff go on, sadness in my life where yeah, I've not, yeah, not ridden yeah. for a long time. So right. I might hack her a little bit. Um, so she doesn't associate me with, with that much pain. Mm -hmm. So I, it was just, I mean, when you're outside of looking in, you could probably suss that out. But when you're in it, you yeah. just, you're my, racking my brains to think, why, why is she doing this? But obviously then when I got the vet and said, like, full x-rays and the rest of it. Yeah, she was in a lot of discomfort. Yeah, that is why she wouldn't be caught. Cool. And then from that moment on, I went out with Titch together. Yeah. She, would, she wouldn't have none of it. Oh, that's a, like a field safe. Point so she'll let you catch her? No, not now. This is why I initially ran you, because she goes out in that main field. A uh, big field? Yeah, quite, quite a big field. And I cannot get near her. So how did you get her in today? She hasn't been out. Because she's had a surgery, she's had full box rest. Box rest. Right, so she had box so rest, so I've she's put, going I've out of her mind. Her, really. I've had to put her in this little run thing. When she's out with her mates, she's out in that big field. She's like, this is my domain. She, she she almost wants to come in. She'll come to the gate. If you go anywhere near her, she will bugger off. Okay, and that's becoming a problem. I can't get, if I can't catch her, I can't get her do into anything. your rehab. Right, what happens if the others come in? 
No, she, you still can't catch her. I've, I've, you know, that's one of my big things, not yeah. being able to catch a horse. Uh, yeah, that's a nightmare. Um, I agree with you. And, I, and I'm busy, yeah. I'm a busy person, and, you know, yeah. obviously. You want to be able to go? I've got enough time her. for her, but then I've got okay, to Okay, well, well, there is a process. The initial process is what hopefully I'm going to help you with now a little bit. The starting process, all right? For you, but you will have to put some effort into this. Yeah. Like you're going to have to come and catch her and not bring her in. You're going to have to catch her, yeah. put some carrots on the floor and go, you know, so she never knows yeah. whether you're going to... Get her in or not. Yes. Yeah. You've never done that. Um, I mean, I don't. I Yeah, I catch her all the time and then I don't ride her. So you're catching, no, but I mean, Trace is not the problem. She, Trace, she go to Trace. Yeah, initially she would yeah, let me catch her, but she now won't. she won't. Oh, she won't right. now. Yeah. Oh, but okay. I don't. I, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, but what I'm saying is, you don't get them in. Yeah. You go, just, you go just out, just her, you'll make your coffee, her. say, I'm going to go and catch her twice now before we have our coffee. You catch her, you got a couple of carrots in your back pocket or whatever, and you catch her. And then you go, that's all I wanted, a little rub, carrot, and go away. So she never knows. If she's coming in or not. No, yeah. it's it's the yeah. number one thing that works the best. But initially, you've got to be able to catch her. So you want to be able to draw her to you a little bit. Once you've done that a few times, like in the school here, and she knows that when you're, you're putting a bit of pressure on and you're backing off with the two eyes, the same thing then transfers into there. You see I what I'm getting at? I mean, I've you know when you turn your back and then they come up they come up and as soon as i she let me touch her and as, as soon as i go to grab yeah she's actually nearly broke my finger really times. well i mean Still i, I have got to be careful because she's had surgery yeah so i've got to i won't be able to do as uh, she's, she's not really a reactive horse yeah okay so i would say the first thing to do is let's put her in this bit that she's used to and then i'll get her on a little bit and, and, and kind of following me around in here yeah. yeah and when she's done that then i'll rub on her we'll give her a break for a minute then and then try her in this paddock yeah. okay mm -hmm. that's as much that's that, that's all i can suggest you you need to we need to get it so she will be caught but don't go as far as putting everything on you know what i mean and, and, and then you give her a carrot she, she's got to have that a lot so she never knows when she's coming in it's a good time to do this as well because obviously she can't be ridden anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. she's not ever going to be coming to, to um, be ridden. Okay, can that so, be shut? Yeah. I'm coming, boss. Okay, what am I going to do now? Look, can I show you anything this up? If I go up to her. Uh, Tracy right. gets a little bit confused with. She's at. Is she, isn't it? She's yeah, Bella. Bella. She's, Bella. Uh, She's just pinning the horse, the areas of that one, not us. Right, so you see how I put that through? Yeah, you yeah. know how to do that. Took it up a little bit under there. That goes around and through. You see that? See what can I just done? Just do it I need you to do it five times, all right? Five yep. times. Yep. I'm the same. Right. This, this, in my head, this is what I go normally do. Show so us. I go down, yeah. like that. Try and get it there. And yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. Do you know what? I, I wouldn't shout at you for doing it like that. You know, a lot of people do. But the ideal way, so that it doesn't tighten up if she pulls back or something happens, it doesn't tighten up as much. Look, it's through there, all right? So down, Round the back. Round and through. And the big tail through. The big, through the D. So I'll let you do a rope, really. Right? Yeah. You, do you see how I've just done that? Yeah. Because then, look, you see all of these? It doesn't tighten up then. So yeah. it, it, with a thinner one of these, it would tighten up, you can barely get it off. Do the other way. Do you want to just try it one more time? Yeah, so... So you put it on... So down, yep. Put, put, try and get put that, yes, there. yes. Tuck that up a little bit underneath. Like there? Yeah, and, and then right. round the back. So round. And then... Through and then the D. Through. Do you know how good you are? <laughs> there you yeah. go. That's it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Cool. So you were doing it kind of right, but wrong. It's the other way around. <laughs> up and set down or whatever. <coughs> right, I want to watch you lead around that school for me. First.
Do you think, you know a uh, front left? Is that a bit slow pickup? Is the vet thing? Yeah, what? That's still there, isn't it? The what? Say that again. Did you say anything? No, okay. See the walk short. Yeah, okay. You have to. Uh, yeah, She's a bit slow on the. On the pickup at the left. Did you do the other rain instead? Yeah, I did the other rain. I'm not going to say, I'm just saying yeah, I, no. I, you've probably noticed as well. But it hasn't been that long since the operation, so. Remember to lift your hand a little bit. That's good. Yeah, then lift this hand. That, that, you're, you're right, yeah. And keep going. Look, and walk away. Good. That's good. Now just stop and look at her feet. Oh, wow. That's good. <laughs> so you got, yeah, give her, just touch her on the forehead. That's nice. She's got some respect for you. That's nice. Can you lower her head down? Look, don't look in her eyes. Just think down. Because this is the important one now. For, getting the head down, it'll help that spine, won't it? Have they said that? They, you've just released a couple of times. That, right, can I just show you? Yeah, that's good. Don't release, don't kiss her. <laughs> I was only joking, actually. Uh, right, can I just show you how to help that? Uh, or does she usually do it really well? I think Tracy's scratching as opposed to right. squeezing. Okay. A lot of it is because we're here, that, you know. Um, don't, don't eyeball her. There you go. Uh, try and put your pres pressure point, yeah, because you might have to ride her. I'm just going to put a steady foot pressure there. I'm not going to do anything like this. Yeah, look, watch what I do. Right, so I'm going to, at the same time, squeeze here. See how I'm going to squeeze in there? And I'm just going to rock from side to side. And I've just re released her for a little try. So I'm going to rock from side to side. Now, I took it off because she's come down just a bit. Right. You see when I'm doing it here? Because that's going to help you. You might have to do loads of riding with a head down because you'll say she's starting coming up. So you can use that to help. You with me from the saddle, All right? Let's just, so I, I'm look, I'm rocking from side to side, squeezing here, waiting. I don't care how long she takes. Right. So even if you put a bit of tippex where your mark is, because so, then she'll know exactly where your mark is. All right. In here, I'll do loads to help with this spinal thing. I would do loads, and you know when you do your lunging, she will search, and she, you, you say that she comes up with her head which doesn't help this with the hollowing, yeah? Agreed? Immediately she drops it for you, quit for a second. Quit, quit. So her way of not lunging is low in her head. But eventually you've got to let her down a bit and say, well, no. I'll, I'll. Do it a little bit more, a little yes. bit more. Yes, yes. Right, so you see that my point there? And I'm just going to rock this and a bit of pressure down and then get to know how good she is. And there she's down. Sleeping now, isn't it? Right. So I would do a lot of that in here when you're at standst. So in here, she starts associating with dropping this head more than coming up, which isn't going to help that, is it? You know, that's. Does that make sense? Yeah. So walk around one more time here, just here, and I want to see you do that. Okay. Try and bring her back. Just, yeah. Her so her head will be up a bit, and then I want you to remember here, squeeze and a bit of pressure here, but a little bit of. Use it here, look. And a little bit of that. I, I just want to see that head come down a bit more. Talk you through it, or do you want to do it without me? And you'll go for it. Yeah, come around here, Ty. Right then. So there, but don't don't release it until she comes down. A little bit of a wobble. There, mm. release. Now, can I just tell you, I'm going to be picky I'm, now. I'm not quick enough. No. You, you knew it. Yeah. yeah. You, that. Because I'm listening to you. Yeah. And you knew yeah. what it's yeah. like. Yeah. That there. Yeah. yeah. This, this, this getting your timing right will help you in your future with horses. Whether it's another horse later on, more horses in your life. That are, you've got a very, very hectic life. I've learned very quickly this morning. <laughs> Agreed? Yeah. The only time you get to sit down is in your car. 
<laughs> yes? So horses will be a release for life for you, okay? Yeah. Right, agreed? You probably will have more horses. What you'll learn from her will keep you, this timing thing will help you so much in the future. Right? So I will be picky. That has got to release immediately. This, what you are talking to, through this and your squeeze, is this neckline dropping at all. That's what you're looking at. Do it again? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Get them both together. Squeeze. Little rock. And you're looking at the, the neckline. Yeah. Yes. Ah. Oh, you that have... was like one, two. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Right. First time lucky, right? Yeah. If you, yeah. Can, if you can get that timing yeah. spot on for all your riding, your releases of the bit, you can have a much better relationship and not be in your horse's way a little bit. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. Try again. So... And should she, be, should she be holding there underneath? No, that's perfect fine. where she that's is. Fine, a, little, yeah, a, little, yeah. a little down with yeah, a little rock. Yeah, yeah. And... Oh. Yes! Oh! oh. <laughs> right. yeah. How do you feel about that? Yeah. Have you just learned something? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's just, it's, it's concentrating. Yeah. I, I really need to concentrate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You've got to let them fine. all off together. Yeah. The same with if you're asking for a nice pole set. Yeah? you nice. And you've picked up on the bit and you've drove with your seat and your legs a little bit. Immediately you get a softness in that, you've got to release not only the soften with your hands, you've got, to, you've got to soften with your feet at the same time. And that's when you start getting an acceptance of that pole and the rounding, which is, uh, that's going to be important to her. You're, I, when I, I write, she'll put her head down, but she won't use her tummy and she won't lift. Yeah, well this so is something your timing's going to have to, in the future, be better. With her back problems, it's so important. Now, because I... I w- w- with this injury that she's had, and uh, what's it? What I'm, the things I'm telling you, I think will help. Um, now, there's another thing that's going to help. Is have you ever? Does the vet lift her back? Come round here, Bob. Does he lift her back? Um, I've had the, the back people do it. Yeah, they've lifted it since this. No. And how does that go? Yeah, she'll do it, but you've got to do it in a specific place, haven't you? How do you get on with it? I, I must admit, I've not. I've not done, done much with right. it. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie. I've not no, done much no. with it. No, no. But I've, I've had a check go with on. your vet. Yeah. What I'm going to show you now, she, do you think she'll kick out at me? No. Right. Well, I'm going to lift her back, okay? Yeah. Uh, you you want to promote lifting with her. So I'm going to lift her back for you, and then I want you to do it. The catching thing we'll do in a bit. These are the important things that I can try and help a little bit. Yeah. for you and her, right? And then we'll get to catch it. This, when you ride, wants to come up, not down, yeah? Yeah. You, you, you said you think... You, the, she, she'll put her head down. Your, she, look, can I just say, your weight, with, when she's right, she'll hardly feel you up there. You're nothing to her. Right? So don't worry, you said the other girl's lighter and all this. Yeah. It's not, you're nothing, unless you ride incorrectly and let this sag too much, yeah? So that's what I'm trying to say. So, eventually, by you, when you when you bring her in, you would do a little bit of that. Just before you put the saddle on, you'll do a little bit of that. When you finish riding, you'll take it off and you'll do that. She'll get to a stage where if you do it enough, you promote that lifting, she'll do it a lot. Then, when your riding gets better, maybe you could do it when you start riding. I don't know what your riding level is at, but you transfer that the pen top that we use or whatever or the finger we start getting a lift further up so that the legs start to promote this does that make sense what i just said i know it's a little bit complicated right so i'll i'll see whether i can lift it okay it's something i'll do a little bit of now but just tell your vet make sure your vet it's okay for you to keep doing it i think it is okay so so i'm going to put i'm going to start with my finger okay so I'm going to put my finger in the middle. I'm going to release immediately. I get that coming up in the, immediately, yeah? Eventually, I want to put it on, press, it comes up, and then I just keep my, my rub. Instead of my finger, I will rub, like with my flat of my hand, say, stay up there, but you've got rid of that poke, yeah? Sometimes we use pens up. So, so I'm looking at it, all right? I'm looking at that. So I'm going to put my... All right, now... Do you see it come up? Yeah. Have you seen that? Tell her how good she is. I'm going to back off for a minute. A lot of horses will kick out a little bit with that. She didn't. So that's showing she's nice. She's Just lower her head for me, like I showed you. Watch the timing. 
look at the neckline, you're talking to this, so you look at that, not her. And then rock your and think down. Yep. Yes. Yes. And one more time. Look at that and breathe. Yes. So that's her idea then to put that down for you. So how better has that become that quick? This is something that's really going to help with this injury. Yeah. Um, right, so now what she's had a little break, because I've given her a little break there, haven't I? Mm -hmm. She came up, look at that dip, and she came up to about there, didn't she? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go in the middle again. Okay, I'm looking at this, okay? So I'm going to, I'll get you to do it in a minute. Right, I'm going to press my finger in right now. It's come up. Now it's come up. I'm rubbing under there with my flat of my hand because she's got rid of my poke, hasn't she? Right, that makes sense? Mm -hmm. So I'm doing the bit where the un so she understands what this is. You can continue then when she understands it because a lot of horses will kick out with this. So I have to be a little bit careful. That's perfect. She's responding really well. She's not. If she was in pain when she did that, this would all be flicking and everything. She'd be shaking her head. So that's a good sign. Okay. A lot of kissing spine horses. When you drag your fingers there and that, they'll go down. Yeah. But. Right. She had her head right there, and I was just like, <laughs> yeah, now. But her timing, uh, Tracy's timing, just got much better. Yeah. Because she was asking and then not releasing yeah. quick enough for the try. It's that last little bit, isn't it? It's, it's, yes, yeah. it's as they, right, unrequested, look at her feet. Yeah, and then a little rub. Right, so I'm going to go under here again, right? My finger is not on there yet. She's actually come up a bit there, right? I'm going to press my finger in now, right? It's come up, now I'm rubbing. Now I'm rubbing, all right? You see how that's come up? Yeah. It's beautiful. I'm rubbing there, and I've come off. Give her two seconds now, to, to, and then I'm going to get you to do it. Good girl. All right. Do you want to take off I'm fine for the minute, sure. thank you, yeah. Fine for a minute, yeah, fine for a minute. Do you want Trace? Trace yeah. the now, <laughs> I was just about to tell you that, and you did it, because the, it. the, 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 the this horse's future getting better. It's quite a long process. Yeah. In the school where the lunging will be and where the riding will be, probably to start with. Good girl. You want that head down. Watch for that. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay, because squared up. So, the, I, what I've said to Trace, when she comes in here, even if she's walking around, keep stopping. Keep getting her used to having her head down in here. Yeah. You know. Uh, there's a way of doing it with the, with the reins, okay? And I, can you remind me, because you'll be, I probably won't be here passing, you'll probably be riding her by then. You really need to know in here how to drop that head. Mm. Yeah? Do you know how to do it with the reins? With the reins? Yes. What, when you're on her? Yes. Uh, what, from when she's still? Yes, or walking or trotting. Well, I normally go treat, treat, let go. And like does she drop her head down then? Um, what, after a couple of times, maybe. Well, it's, it's just I, I can put a quick cue in there for you. You can't be here with the reins to drop her head, right? You know where we hold them? Yeah, can't be there because and he can't be there. I know. No, because you really want this to mean the pole give. Yeah. Agreed? Mm -hmm. And, you know, flexing, you come to here. Yeah. All that is pole and flexing. If you're talking to this bit, it needs to be a different feel okay. because you don't right so what we do we put extended arms like that yeah. right extend your arms out she'll clip she'll she'll separate this all out like that and it has to be up so okay. it has to be up but you cannot release she will come up and i'm going to show you with the bit if you've got you got the bit in there yeah i will show you these are the really important things that's going to help this while I'm here, take advantage of the things that I know. Yeah. Right. So it's a straight arm. You do not talk to this drop in with your hands oh, back yes. here yeah. because this is this and flexing, all right? Mm -hmm. You don't yeah, want that. that. And she will confuse it at times, but at least there's a separation. So it has to be up with the snaffle. Up, up. And you only ever release as that, you're looking at this, as that does what? Drops that little bit and then you release. You let go. You let you actually yeah, you just chuck them away like a hot potato. Pirelli used to say, didn't he? A hot potato release. Yeah? So <laughs> can I just say can I just say something? 
Right, when my mum and dad are near, they, they've passed, I always see a white feather when I'm doing something, when I feel like I'm doing something good or I need to put white, sorry, you put white feather on your arm. Well, I must admit that threw me a little bit there and Tracy got a little bit upset, but um, you know, Tracy, f she's a lovely person, uh, as most of the places we go are, you know, and Tracy freely admitted this time in her life, She's had a lot of, I mean, she's lost her mum and dad. She's got all sorts, things seem to be going in the wrong direction in lots of areas for her. And plus her horse being, you know, not well. And she's been trying to, trying to fit everything in. And it's just, you know, it's one of those times in, in someone's life where, you know, she's she just got to be strong and she admits that. And she's just too busy really. But, you know, I'm sure she'll get through it. And, uh, you know, hopefully me and Tanya can go there and just, you know, make things a little bit easier for her and her horse to move forward, hopefully. You know, but uh, yeah, it's a real shame sometimes. All right. Mm -hmm. So you're doing something good? Yeah. Oh. There it. you go. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Sorry, it's my emotional bit. No, there we are. Yeah, <laughs> used to that. Uh, right. Can I just say something else about yes. And I, I forget all the time. Because I'm thinking now of the catching thing, right? And I've just explained. Mm. Well, I can't remember your name. Karen. Carol, right. Karen. Karen. <laughs> Karen. Karen. Right. I answered to anything. Um, <laughs> I've said about this <laughs> so catching thing, right? The catching thing. It ain't going to happen in that big field because that's where the, the, the problems have been happening. Mm. So I said, something's got to happen where you get another bit of field, whether the farmer can let you have this for a while yeah. till it's sorted. Now, this horse has got to be caught a million times. But not brought in. No, just dust the ice. It, like yeah, yeah, that's how I've had to do so it with I'd a lot of mine. Say hello to him and say, right, I'm off, man. Yes! Oh, yeah. Or chuck a carrot down. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Chuck a carrot down. But don't let them come for the carrot. No. You stop, you know. We, they have we, to come to you before they have it. We have to go into their space and, and, yeah. uh, and try to lower the head once more time. I'm, I'm labouring this. Brilliant. Because I know this can help. Right, now, I want you to now, right? I want you to now. You're talking to this, are you? So you're going to put your finger, right, underneath the middle, and you, I'm going to do it for you, because you won't know what, yeah, I'm going to do it with your finger, right? Yeah. And you're going to start rubbing when this comes up, right? So middle of, middle of, middle of there, you're going to press hard with one finger, and then you start rubbing when it comes up, press hard. Go on, go on. Yeah. Now, yeah. now it's going to start Rub it. rubbing, 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 rubbing. Now walk away, walk away. And you were looking at it. Mm -hmm. Now, if you use a pen top, it's easier. But a pen top, they can kick out more, you, you know. But she doesn't seem that sort to me, no. but she will kick out. But you've got to try and, you know, poke, poke up. And when you put poking up, move your finger like that so there's a bit more of a reason for it to. I just want you to feel what it's like because you it's can. Because get, I've heard. Oh, right, we're using a different finger there. Or a thumb, or something. But you've got to immediately, this starts coming up change it to a nice little flat rub. So she's got rid of the discomfort, but you're still telling her now stay up there. Now if it comes back down without you asking, pen me in. Yeah. Right, go again. And really know what you want. Really know. Really know what you want. Get, get your finger up there and get that up. Go on. Go on. Get it up. Now rub. 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 Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Now give her a, a rub. Don't, no, 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 I wouldn't pat her. Probably is fine. But you've got to change some something yeah. about this catching. I would never pat her now for a bit. Do you agree with that? Yeah, it's what yeah. you're teaching. Just us. give her a rub. Or rub Just her. give her a rub. I know. I wouldn't pat her too much. Okay. Um, yeah, every time I now, how did that feel? Oh, no, I'll just <laughs> Yeah. How did that feel to you? Pushing my thumb right off. Well, look, get yeah, a pen top really then. Hard. Yeah. Or oh, yeah. the end of a flag. Uh, okay. Oh, she's in. What's that? <laughs> Really? Yeah. The only problem with using that is it's hard yeah. to start rubbing. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'll try it. Right. So, I'm looking at it. Right, I put the right. Oh, yeah, that shot up. Right, yeah. did you see that? Yeah. Right, you want to try that? Give it two seconds. You've got to give them a bit of a... Yeah. Right, try it. Right. So that's going to go up and you're going to do that. Reasonably, start with nothing and then increase. Kind of, she's 
kind of a, you know, I just want her to just weight that foot. See how she weighted that up? She keeps coming in a bit. Yeah. She used so. to make her first. She did used to be not horribly, but a bit large. Yeah, yeah. You, you've got care of that. Right, yeah. okay. So you're looking at that. Yeah, so get that up. Yeah, now rub. Oh, you. Look at your timing, girl. <laughs> All over it now. Uh, you need to, <laughs> you need flag, to, you need flag. to mention it to the vet. The only yeah. one call, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Mention it to the vet. So you know, the, the horseman came. Said with that injury, I've had to go to a lot of them with this over the years, and my vet's very, very good. Um, Cuts Farm, you might have heard of them in Pembrokeshire, and promoting any sort of uplift at the back is a great thing to do. Yeah, but I just. There is a guy. The what? I've been told that through his back right the There is a guy that I went to yes. see, give a talk yes. a few years ago. Yes. Simon Kosa. He does a lot of this. He's a French guy. He was yeah, trying yeah. to educate people about yes. the importance of it. Long yes. ago and yes. how to prevent the kiss and spines and stuff yes. like that. And he does clinics. He's a little way away. I think the things I can help you with was that which I've showed you. Yeah. I think you could look, I can show you, you can feel it, you've got to learn it without me being here. You'll learn how that is best between you. Practice you. On there you go. <laughs> Just be careful, like I say, yeah, some horses some horses really are not sure about that. Yeah, what you, but I was explaining eventually that is no different than a heel or a spur, not to hurt but discomfort. So what we, we do, if a horse is really hollowing out, we'll have some on the other side, and this goes over a course of weeks, and we start with under there, and then we'll see how far we can come out. So we might yeah. be able to oh, come, see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. come out to here, then we both do the same thing, and we just wait. They'll wonder, what's that? That's not the same thing. Uh, when that comes up a bit, let go. Just just talk to each other. Oh my God, I've only ever been told to do it from the bottom. No, because really this like, oh God, yeah. is where your legs are. So, so in the middle. Exactly. Now, if you're not blessed with the longest legs, you are, you aren't. It'd be more <laughs> difficult. It'd be more it's difficult. an illusion, on there. She's got six foot three legs. The easier for you I haven't you got can wrap legs your legs under. You can wrap your legs under. Mm. So what you do, you then transfer it to someone sat on there. Then you've got people helping you. So you put your foot, you see, it should come in here. I'm not going to get onto it because of this, you know, but, but be aware that you kind of... Yeah. Um, I, I and if she doesn't, back then. yeah. But for now, I need to. I, I don't yeah. want to concentrate that. I'm concentrating on mm. the things that I know when I'm gone. So, so, yeah. so, yeah. So it started here, underneath there. You've come out with someone to here. So a couple of weeks later, or three weeks later, you can then put your finger here, and that's coming up because that's where your legs are. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. There. But you have to do it both sides. Yes, really. If yeah. you've got people helping you, it's much better. Right. Then you jump up there. When you're ready, you'll put your either your little spur edge because it does help with a little spur edge, so just to make a bit of discomfort here, and then and then you wait till you feel that. Yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah, stop. Mm. So you can actually promote this lift from the saddle, but it's a process, okay? Yeah. And this How is going to be of a process. How many times would you do it? What this? The, the this doing this. Well, it depends on the horse. You know, it could take you a month. So where you're putting pressure here. Yeah, every day. Yeah, seconds. right. Well, I mean, you're looking for things to do. I know, well, no, you're busy, aren't you? But when you bring her, I would definitely concentrate on this this lowering more than I'd ever tell anyone because it's the kitchen's mine. Yeah. So you want that stretch. And I, you want... I need, I need, obviously she's had the surgery. Yeah. I need her to now work how she should work. And I don't want anything obviously reoccurring. Yeah. I so, do my best so I would her. do your best to do this. So. Lots of this. Look, she's already getting better at that. Look. Yeah. And then move out here, see whether you can get it done. If I'm passing, then, you know, in a, in a, in a, in a month's time, you might say, well, yeah, I'm getting on really well, but I could just do with that extra bit. So if I'm passing, I can pop in. Um, or oh, there are other horsemen around, you can, you can talk from the internet. There you go. Right, so is that happy with that? Right, before we do the catching, we need your bit. Where is it, Tracy? The, the head collar, the, the, the bridle. Well, you bridle, yeah. yeah. What are you going to ride her in? I'm going to pause this. Excuse me. Is he tired? Yeah. 
that. <laughs> in a field and jump so is, her. Is she, is she better so, with that on? Well, I just kind of, it's habit now, I've just had it. I, I, I've, I'll tell you why, right? Because that's called a flash, yeah? Yeah. Right, right, that, that's... But to be fair, I do normally... No, no, can I explain? Because people can learn from this. Yeah. You don't usually have it that tight. Okay. No, right. So that's a flash. So that, when you ask for any flexion, yeah? Yeah. That's knocking into that. That will be hitting into that. Um, I personally, you're talking about catching things. Yeah. If I was being ridden in that, where I can't open my mouth very well, a lot, in all fairness, you've got it quite like loose. Yeah. A lot of people have that quite tight, okay? And for, for the amount of time that the horse is with you, being ridden and everything, they can't, they can't work their jaw because that, that is gonna, that, that done tight, you're not doing it tight, I'm, I'm doing this to explain to yeah. people. When that's done up tight, Right, that, that cracker's there. Look, I'm pushing that. Look, I can't get my finger in there now. So that is going to tighten up and feel uncomfortable. So a lot of horses hate this so much, they won't want to be ridden and caught, okay? Uh, uh, all of these little things are going to add to you catching this horse better. Now, I look at where she put her head. She's putting her head down now, naturally. So I would, for your lessons, okay, for your lessons, do that up if you want. Right. Yeah. I wouldn't have that on for now till your catching's perfect. Because I promise you that is an uncomfortable she, thing for a horse. Um, she just scrunched the bit quite a bit. But is, any difference with that? I suppose I've had that for so long. Um, so I was, look, I was trying give, to find I, a bit that, that right, was... Right, I'll, give, the I'll give you the advice. You take only... Don't do everything I'm saying. I'm giving you... My opinion on things, and then just take what what works. Yes, yes. And that was one of my questions with a bit. To be fair, yeah. She literally. I would change the bit. To her on a metal one. So, so you I don't got, want a metal one. I got that plastic one. Well, I, I personally. They, I go through them like one o'clock because obviously they split, and that one split. I need to get. I one. would get a sweet iron snaffle, D ring, not a round ring. I'd get a D ring. They're quite cheap from Charlotte. I think that's what I've got. I think Charlotte's just bought another one. Yeah. She's put uh, it on D, D ring. And I'd have it a bit lower than you've got it, so they're holding it, okay? Oh, you yeah, want this horse awesome. to feel so comfortable mm. with everything when yeah. you're riding. But it's, it's knowing, do you know what I mean? I it's knowing, of course it is. But that's what I would do. We did have a bit, we did have a bit lady out. Um, <laughs> I, I, I can't say it without laughing because, she, bless her, she was not good. And she just made everybody cry. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh but she wasn't right. good. Right. She wasn't good in her advice. So either. that's my no. advice is to use a sweet iron snaffle, have it low so she holds it herself. Just check she doesn't put uh, uh, tongue over it. And I wouldn't have any of that on for now, okay? For schooling that year. So she feels so freaking comfortable. There's not there's no pressure in the corner of her mouth, she's holding a bit. Anything that might make her not want to be involved with you, which is the catching. It all adds up. All right, okay, so so we're gonna lower, so we're gonna lower, attempt to lower her head, and yet it's already down. Right. So, I remember what I said to you. If you if you come here for me, and I want you to extend. Imagine your right. I want you to go to where your legs will be, right there. Extend your arms out for me. Right. Lean forward now. So this is my point here. Okay, see that? Right, I'll be yeah. out here with it myself because yeah, I've got longer arms, yeah. right? So you're gonna have a point where you can come to, all right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do it where your point is. She's down. We've done your timer was that good luck. <laughs> Look at this. Apprentice? Yes. <laughs> right. So okay. okay. I need her up. But Bella. This is Bella. such a good time to do it because she's thinking though with her head. <laughs> right. Hey. So look what I'm going to do. Even reins. Good girl. And I'm going to hold these reins up with pressure and she'll probably come up. See where I've got my reins? Yeah. Okay. Now I'm holding them here and I'm going to attempt first to just hold them with no movement in my hands. I might have to do... Right. Did you just see? Yeah. Did you really see? Yeah, she just said that. I'm looking at tiny this. Bit went. I'm looking at this. She hardly moved, but she did. Yeah. I'm looking at this. But she did. Yeah, she did. And when we miss that, it takes a long time to get it back because they've already searched there and say, no, it ain't down because I didn't get a release. So 
the fact that I'm doing this first for you is a good thing because I'm getting the first bit. Right, so look, there's the straight arms, up with a bit of pressure, it's probably about 10 pound there. I'm looking at the neck, I'm talking to the neck. Uh, the longer this takes, the better because, did you see that? Mm -hmm. The longer this takes, uh, you, you don't want it where you put a bit of pressure and she drops because she hasn't searched. If they search for it, it means so much more in that brainer there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna up with it, up with the reins. I'm not letting go at all. I'm looking at the neck. It's an up with the reins. Right. The longer this takes, the better for you. Yeah. But that oh, if, she, if she gets, she blocks me out. Right. Coming down a bit there. I'm releasing. I'm releasing. She's following that down. She's following it down. You see her following it down? Mm -hmm. Right, I'm gonna, that's the point where I'm gonna put pressure again. And I'm looking at it, I'm looking at it. This is the straight arms. So I'm just gonna twiddle now, left and right. It's not soaring. Oh, oh, I didn't have, ah, I didn't have it. For, did you see that? It was caught on a, so yeah, so it'll go down. So the longer this takes, the better. So you think, okay, oh, it's coming up, that's great. That's brilliant. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. It's not there, girl. It's not there. That's it. You see how this works? Yeah. So the, be the more she goes up and searches, the better as long as you don't what? You release it. Yeah, you've had it. She you've had it? Yeah. And then it takes quite a long time then because she would have searched. See, that's mm. hard for me being sure. If I got her head up, I'll be like that. <laughs> I got steps Well, you're going to have to, you're going to have to, yeah, but you, you, you have to work your way around it somehow. Stand, Stand up in the mud, Stand yeah. Right, up again, straight arm, right. So I've got that, it's come up, that's great. It's coming down. Now what you do, you do loads of them, okay? So she knows, so you, you could say, Steve, okay. right? But you've got to make sure you don't do it here. Do it as far forward as you can, <coughs> up, let it go down. Yeah. Then you transfer that to when you sat on, sat on here, and doing it at standstill. So you can both get your pole a little bit and you can straight arms and drop her neck. Then you do it in walk. You walk ground a few times. She might have her head up a little bit. Then you go, now this is what I want. So you drive her a little bit. You hold it up and you're just looking at this. And then when she might, she might go twice round before she kind of figures, oh, it's the same when you're riding me, drop and then let it go. So you can start to manipulate this and get it so good in walk and trot. So if she's not really getting it when you're riding, do you just get off and then do it on the ground a okay. bit and then get back on? Yeah, and then get, get back on. There. But she should get it if you just don't release. Yeah. She's gotta keep keep it up there. And try not to, because if you do release when she searched a bit, she'll go back up there for a release. All right? So straight arms again. Um, and then so a bit of pressure. She's gonna go down now. Yeah, see how that's working now? So I don't wanna overdo that, but could, could that yeah. make sense to you? Can you put all this on the video? Be on the video. Oh no, you will, you'll see it on video. Uh, that's what the importance of these are. It's not just for other people to learn. There's a lot of people who've had this. Loads of people have had kissing spies. It's the first one I'm gonna be able to get on video. Hmm? You'll see it online. Oh, you're pretty and all that. Uh, she's actually down there. So, uh, I'd love it if her head came up now, then I could do it. But does that make total sense to you what I've just yeah. done? Yeah. Um, Karen. Karen, you can, you can <laughs> yeah, understand what I've just done. Exactly what you said, yeah. Okay, but you can't do it here because you'll end up with a horse. If you're doing it here, you'll end up with a horse. And what happens is, if you start riding and say, right, I'm happy now, this is six months time, I don't want the head down so much, I want a bit more elevation. When she drops, you have to really train her and say, no, don't go down there now. Right. So as she goes down, you have to do a little a little bump up. And if she drops again, bump up. Not holding, it's a bump. Little bump. So she feels a bit, oh, what's that? And it stops then, the bumping stops when she... I'm sorry. So it's re you can retrain them to anything. Yeah? So you sort of lose one thing to gain another sometimes. But it's important with this, and, the, and you do lots of riding that she doesn't feel in pain and she starts freeing off here. Actually, you're never going to be able to catch her, are you? 
it'll all get worse. So one more time, straight arm up with, with the with the rein, a little bit of um, and then down, all right? So that took four seconds on, all right? Yeah. So we, that, we won't do any more of that now. I've put the first bit on. I'm just gonna have a go. go. Have a go then, have a go. Don't ruin what I've done. Try that, it'll, it'll be on video if she does fall off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you know, there's a lot of good things about this horse. She's not horse to be bothered about all this fighting. Right, is that alright? Yeah. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Get, 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 get her ready and prepared with your reins. And then a little bit wider and, and up. Yeah, like that? Yeah, and look at the neck. But you've got her when she offers that downward thing. Yeah, keep rocking it, keep rocking it, keep rocking it, keep rocking it. She did offer you once there. No, I didn't see that. Yeah, yeah, keep keep going, keep the pressure, keep the pressure, look at her. Keep the pressure, keep the pressure, keep the pressure. Down, down, yeah! <laughs> she she did just it! She's just thinking a little bit differently about you because of the history and the non-catching and she kind of blocks you out a little bit. That will get back. Sorry. All right, one more time then. So. Get it ready, ready and, then, and then, and then, and then, and then get a bit of pressure on there, and watch the neck. Talk to that neck. Talk to that neck. That's it, talk to that neck. Talk to that neck. Keep like, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, no? yes, yes, yes. I didn't know if that was a fly on her or not. Well, she's got a couple it. of flies around. One more time. That's why she's kicking. Um, oh, right, I'm gonna say to you something now. I'm gonna do this a few times, and I need to, for her to, the last thing that you do with them is the first thing they learn. Yeah. I need yeah. it to finish on a note with me yeah. doing yeah. it, so she, yeah. she remembers. That makes sense. Yeah, I remember. But, you, but I think you felt it when yeah. it was right, yeah. didn't you? Definitely. Now she's getting good. She's getting comfortable in here with the old head down now, isn't she? Yeah, right. Very much so. Hmm? Do you notice yeah. this? Right. So I'm going to go again. And then I'm up with the reins. I'm trying to get it to follow the rein down now. So a bit of pressure, a bit of pressure, follow the rein down. And that's what you, you have to practice. Look, I'm, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna go start going slow up with it. And almost nothing there. And that's the point I'd like to finish on. So that's the last thing I've done is the first thing she's learned. And you've got to try and, it will be better when you ask next time in this spot, because she would have, she'll remember it. She'll remember it. It's the last thing you do with them, all right? Does that make sense? So you've got to improve on that, so that when you start riding her, you can drop this. Because honestly, the vets will tell you, you don't want this. You want it yeah. down for the first, what, six months riding or something? How old is she? She's 11. Okay. Just. I would I really it. say, because relaxation is one of the most important things going forward with this horse. Ditch that. Ditch that. You don't need it. Yeah. I would... It doesn't come off that though, does it? Well, you know, Cut it I've off. got bridles. You can, I'll send Cut you a bridle. Cut it I was off. Given a, I was given loads of bridles. Do you want me to send your bridle? I've got loads... Yeah, well, how do you know it's going to fit? Well, because I know. You could just cut that off there, look. Can you not just... No, she don't want to cut it. She could sell that bridle. Or oh, keep right. it as a spare. Oh, or right. for your lessons. I, yeah. I would it's use a sweet iron though. snaffle. Sweet iron snaffle, lower than that. You don't know wrinkles. Look, you, you want it. You I'm want sure it Charlotte's wrinkles? just bought a snap. Yeah, she has got oh, one look. wrinkle. Oh, yeah, totally look, I'm yeah. feeling this. Look, this is tight. You want, uh, for the next six months, I would just drop that right down. That's the one thing I forgot about him saying on that day. What's that? Drop the bit. Drop the bit. Yeah. So one thing I forgot about said. You want. So would you drop that one more? God, yeah. yeah well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open her mouth here for you. All right. Not, not an awful lot, but I would, I would drop it. I would drop it probably. Yeah, do you want me to drop it? Yeah. I'll drop it. I'm gonna say it's been mended because she called it on a um, on a bench while we might have been at a pub. <laughs> she was licking beer off the floor. You're in a pub. <laughs> you're in a pub. And come up and got it caught on the end of the. Uh, right, bench. you're gonna think, oh, it's way too low. But she'll get used to holding it. You need her to be so relaxed. Because you always talk, aren't you, to have that? Yeah, I'm not gonna do it up because. But... Just, yeah. With her, she needs to see you as something that's going to be a relaxing thing, not tight emotions. I've never, 
understood how they teach you to have wrinkles. Why would you start like that? Why would you ever start with wrinkles? I didn't know if that was because that, that, that was that, in, that's in much, the right place that's where much it better had now. to be. Now look, that, I've took that off, yeah. Yeah. I've dropped that down, and that, you see there's a bit of looseness there now. Yeah. yeah. So that when you start doing stuff, she'll feel, the, she'll feel it break, the she'll snaffle. She'll feel the difference. Yeah. yeah. She'll be, look at that, it's even now she's like, look, she's yawning. Look, she, look. Yeah. she couldn't do that without a strap, could she? Look. That's typical, look what she's doing, she's getting all relaxed. Look where her head is now. So, for now, <laughs> what you all right, Val, right? Yeah. Yeah. Me, she's tired now, she's done it for six weeks. All her tension's <laughs> going, she's thinking, he knows what he's on about, that's what I need. Okay, put that uh, on now, I'm going to see what your knot's like when you take it off. When I say with quality, right, with quality, look, and take that off, and I'm going to say, right then, this will only come off, there, there, yeah, everything with quality, right, okay. Do you put that over there? Yes! Could you feel the cocks going there? Yeah. <laughs> that's how to do it. Good. Is that now you're looking like that's, that's fine. Yeah. So this is important now because she's going to be lunged. The vets have asked um, her to be lunged really from now really, isn't it? Yeah. But it's important that the head isn't up in this lunging because of the kissing spine. So rather than using the gimmicks, which we can use if need be, there's a little way of teaching them to lunge with their heads down which I'll, I'll show now, anyway, I'll show now, but let me just get this. Right. I've, used, uh, I've used them before anyway, the, um, yeah. the sewers, and it hasn't worked. It's it hasn't worked, it, a lot of the time the sewer doesn't work. I find this is the, but you've got to get them into, into thought process of lowering the head. So even if you spent 10 minutes getting her relaxed and, and knowing that there's no pressure, uh, pressure is released. This is rubbing on her eyelids, but How good she is. Now, even if you've got to do 10 minutes of this, just get a thinking head down on here. Yeah? Sleepy? <laughs> Sleepy? I want one quick reaction and then I'll give her a break and then we'll start the lunging, yeah? Right, so you'll remember that one? Yeah. Okay. Get her, get her to relax okay, there. so we'll send her. You might have to move now, Tanya. Okay, so you reckon a lunging? With she, she did it for me the other, um, when I started the lunging yesterday day before in walk. She would put her head down, Yeah. but not in trot. Never in trot. No. Well, we'll see if we can make a start on it. It's a bit waterlogged here, you know. It is. Uh, you think she'll be all right? A bit better there. Down this end a little yeah. bit more. Okay. Okay. Right then. This is as good as it gets. 
And uh, other than that, it's so dry, you can't, you can't breathe. Dusty. <laughs> okay, right, so I'm going to suggest now. So, do you know what? That's a good head position. I'm only going to shake this rope if that hole comes above the withers. See the withers? Yes. That's quite nice. It's quite, you know, I wouldn't do anything at that. Just ask her to go forward. Okay. Yeah. Um, and that's what I got to with walk, but trot. Yeah, all right, but well, we'll look and trot in a minute. You've got to start lower down the totem pole. So what I'll do, I'll see whether I can get it to, to lower it a little bit. I'm going to start shaking here. It's gone up, but it's important that I keep the shaking going. Keep the shaking going till that head starts to think about coming. You see what's just happened? Yeah. She decided to bring that head down a bit there. Alright, so I'm leaving her alone. This is my driving tool. This is for lowering her head. It's beautifully down. So, I'd probably start off. You're lunging, she you're, lunging she you're lunging sessions. Really should be walk first. You get a good like this in walk before you go to truck. Alright, now I'm going to shake again. See, she'll drop that head. Yeah, you see how I'm releasing when it comes down? So I'm gonna do lots of, there, she's down on that. That's, that's, you can't do anything there now. Now I can, it's coming up. Come, no, it's coming down. So this build. You can't build Rome in a day, you have to teach her. Right, come up a bit, shake, now it's coming down. All right, this is the drive. This is telling her which way to go. Okay. So, that's quite nice. Now I'll go the other eye, all right? So I'm going to ask her to disengage a bit. Face me with two eyes. Remember the catching? Right, you want two eyes. So when you're with her, I would, it, whenever you're with her, if she gives me one eye, I'm going to fiddle about with this until she gives me two. It's something that can build to help in the catching. Yeah. So she has a release from that bumping. So she's on you. Does that make sense? Yeah. So one eye and look in there, do that until she's with you. Yeah, I do that a lot because she's usually looking yeah, at other we'll horses. Yeah, do it so that yeah. comfort is two eyes, not or the grass. being difficult to get. There, there, yeah. there. Yeah. Right. I have to do that a lot. Be aware. Yeah, we'll keep doing it. So it's good for her to be out with you with two eyes. There. I can tell you've done that. Because I didn't have to do much. Right, we'll go on the other <coughs> eye now. Excuse so me. She might not lower so quick on the other eye because they're so familiar with us yeah. on, 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 on the other eye. You know? uh, right, so this should mean nothing now because I'm neutral. I'm not looking at her, uh, you know, I've just got there. But when I ask yeah, her okay. to go, she has to separate it out. So now I'm going to ask, because look, now I'm asking, I want her to go at that, she hasn't. So now I'm going to drive, drop, now, she went forward. The minute she goes forward, then I've released. She okay. gets a bit confused, she thinks I'm saying back, I lift that. So, you know, I'm suggesting she goes here. Yeah, so Her that's why I need the flag. not high, is it? I need to get my flag out. Her head's not high. Get your flag out. Below the withers. Better than I thought it would. So that's my drive. A little bit faster pace, that's good. Yeah, so I'll shake good. now. Keep this up. Now she's come down. Yeah? See that little shake? So that's good for you. She's got that both sides. Right? That's the drive. Quicken up just a little bit. Alright. Shake the road. Shake. She went down. If she goes up, you don't stop. You do not stop shaking that rope. She goes up with it. Now you said she went a bit mental when you went into the top. Yeah, only when I first started lunging her. Okay. She's alright now because I've lunged her for two days, three days. But I knew initially she would because she jumped Okay. Mm -hmm. So do you want me to try and trot them for you? Alright. So, quite low head. Yeah. Would you be happy with that head? Mm-hmm. Okay. 
shake. Reduce the shaking. A little lower. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah? So if she comes up in walk, you just shake till she comes down. And then we'll try and trot. Now See? Shake. Shake. Now I'm not shaking. Shake, 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 keep shaking, keep shaking, shake, shake, now I'm not shaking, shake, shake, now I'm not shaking, shake, 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 now I'm not shaking. Shake. Now I'm not. Shake. 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 When this drops, there, below the withers. Now I'm just going to do nothing now. We've just got to below the withers then. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm shaking till she dropped it below the withers. That's her release. Now what? So dropping that head below the withers, what has that meant for her? Stopping. Relax. It's meant to relax, yeah. isn't it? Was that better than when you did it? Yeah. Yeah. So that's meant something to her now. She dropped her head, she had a little break. So we'll ask her again now. She's looking all right, Shay. So now, look, this was nothing. That's neutral. She's got to go back something. all the time. <laughs> so we'll see if she drops it on her own. Shake, there. You see it drop that? Shake, 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 shake. Dropping it. I want it below the withers and then she can shake, shake, down. Shake, 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 shake. Shake, 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 shake. See this? When she drops that below the withers, she can have right there. There, 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 there. You see it? She knew it. <laughs> Yeah, she I'm stopping it. now. Huh? She's like, yeah, I've done it, stopping. <laughs> yeah. Eventually, you have to say, no, you're not going to stop all the time now. Get her attention. Get her attention. Get her attention. Now, I'm going to leave her on a good note in a minute. We're not going to get, because, you know, and I've got to get on with your friends. Although, like although I have done uh, disengage done? and uh, forward, any movement on that when you put up, she just thinks you mean back all the time. On She's this. getting a bit confused, yeah. Yeah, well. The, the, the better I was back up, the better. So don't worry too much about that. Are you happy with what I've just done? Save anyone having to message. Um, if you're interested in one of the flags I use, I much prefer the flags to, to the whips and that. And using a, um, you know, like a big a schooling whip with that horse brings the head up more because of, you know, the way, the way a lot of the training is done and the noise of, whew, of the whip. I much prefer a flag. It's a new meaning to them. As long as you drop the flag, or the flag goes out of out of play when they do what you want. I find that's much better. So yeah, don't need to mess about the flags. Tanya makes the flags. She stays up till late uh, making the flags. They're on a telescopic. They're fantastic. Relatively very cheap, really. So if you are interested in one, go to the stay on this channel. And there's a shop on the channel. Um, and if need be, message Tanya if you can't find the shop or whatever. But uh, yeah, they are great. So we're going to now get to the bit where we're going to try and plant a little seed of how to start improving the catching. It's been a problem for quite a time. Obviously there's, you know, things that are symptoms of cause, causes usually with the horse. This particular horse has had kissing spine, ulcers, all sorts of things going on, which Tracy has inherited oh. <laughs> as had to spend financially money quite a lot things out i mean it's she's done all that so the catching was usually done in this field it was in so what i've said is uh we'll start off we've we'll just put her in here now she's quite hungry because she hasn't had her feed so, had her either, mm, yeah <laughs> so i'm gonna see whether i can hook onto her in here this little paddock tanya here See if I can hook onto her and get her following me, but I'm not going to hide the hole to her. I'm going to do. I'm gonna keep this in plain sight, the bucket in plain sight, and I'm going to see if I can hook onto her. 
if I can get her to hook on, have a carrot, and, and I'll move away and then I'll keep doing that. How is it? Yeah. Says it's my turn. She went on. She wasn't up to sleep. Though. No amount of pulling was getting her on anyway or pushing her. I was trying to do side to side. I tried to copy side to side. <laughs> yeah, People always say to me, How long is the session? You can never tell with Steve. Because so now we're starting to get somewhere. I was just patient, not too much pressure. She would have jumped out because apparently she's a great jumper. And you're seeing a little breakthrough now where she starts hooking me up, finally getting there. Uh, no need for running around a round pen and, 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 and making them flee from me. So that's great. So yeah, she keeps following me. I do this quite a lot. Can't put it all in the videos. It'd be like five hours long, but I spend quite a bit of time in here chucking carrots on the floor, um, you know, making sure she doesn't invade into my space well, when she has she the carrots. Exactly. Uh, I'm aware of that one. one. Uh, but yeah, she's really hooking me up now. Um, bearing in mind, I want to get to a certain point where I think I can release her into the field and have half a chance of catching her. Sorry, he bred her. quite pleased with that. Even though I've put the pressure on her, realising that when she hooks up with me, it goes away. <laughs> but this is where I need to do it, isn't it? Mm. He does the whistle and I know what his whistle is. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, or something like that. And I think, oh, there he is. Where is he? <laughs> Yeah? yeah? You don't want to on top of you for this feed all the time. 
saw the carrots. <laughs> Do this. And she went oh, carrots? 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 Carrots?
rounded eyes or something. What, in here? Yeah, so you can keep coming and catching her. Yeah. Give her the... Uh, so she gets into her head. Yeah. We're done, are we? Go into yours then, leave that yeah. one in there. Go on, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> it's been about three hours. Really? Oh, she's going to do it first time now, isn't she? Um, no, if, if you left her like four or five hours, would she still be. Yeah, but then I suppose if you went in with the bucket, exactly the same, same as thing, Steve like, was doing. What I'm yeah. Same again tomorrow with the bucket again. Just doing what you, you were doing, was it just putting just pressure Just a little pressure, like, don't yeah. overdo pressure, she'll help you out. Yeah. Right? I'm not eyeballing her too just much, her it's a peripheral vision. Me. It's like a peripheral vision, I'm not really eyeballing her too much there. I'm like, it, it's, it's, because if you eyeball them, they get real worried. But the only get time, her to turn around to face you. Yes, and then she won't do it out of, right, she worked out where it's safe for her now, she comes here and she faces, and she, she, she's starting to follow, hook up it's called. Do you know, so when I'm moving and giving her yeah. clutch, she's kind of, thinking well, if I don't he's going to pressure me so her pressure's all over when she faces and that's what catching is it's facing you and keep facing you and then you go and catch but you gotta you gotta be a nice ball for her you know? that's what uh, That ain't gonna hurt a box of that, is it? No. She, do you know what she broke into? I had a net of them. Oh, <laughs> in the bottom cabinet. She worked out. She got reached over. I don't know how she done it. She opened that thing and she had half a half of a sack of carrots. Really? And also, there was some in a little bag. She ate the whole bag. <laughs> and they're like, no, she. I said she did. So I rang the vet and they said, how big is the bag? And I said, oh, you know. It's I'm going to walk around her now, back to here and back to here, so it'll be a bit different, do you know what I mean? And she pooed it out two weeks later. Oh, did she? The, the bag? Stable. The bag? I knew she'd know it. If I did that, she would have taken it off. First horse fly I've seen. First horse fly I've seen. Yeah, I haven't seen that one. Yeah. First horse fly I've seen. Sure, most of the time I've been up there. Did you see that? Yeah. Almost thought it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The grass is too low. Do you reckon? I'd be in there for a few see. days and get it so that you can go in there, don't either. They know the difference when you start hiding this yeah. stuff. Yeah, they're not silly. Yeah. And then almost scares them when you pull it back round. Well, just, just, you know. Um, I'd get it good in there so you can just walk in, make sure she backs up a bit, give it a cut. So, so she never knows when you. And then, yeah. when you think that's really good, maybe do it in there so she's hooked onto you in there. And then you've got to come in here, but have someone with you. And, Hopefully this is the oh, top. You can get her back in because myself. that's open. You just go behind her and just usher her. Yeah, that's what you, yeah. You know, you, you, yeah. you get no and, and then how long until she goes out in the in the big girl field? Uh, all right, look, I'm not going to tell you that because I, 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 it might take ages. Oh. Her history's there, isn't it? What I would do is plan it that when you can catch her easy in here, and it ain't going to be as good as me, right? I don't, you know. It won't, won't be quite as good as this because, like you say, the time would you'd leave her in a bit longer. Um, this will be interesting. She's now she's gone off. Um,
your helmet. Cock it up, and I don't mean that in a bad way. Let's let her think of that now. Yeah. 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 So, where's she going now? Well, it's up to you whether we want to go and feed her in that. Uh, yeah. Well, your your though, choice. Feed her where? She can't get her in the. <laughs> she, would you really like to be able to? It's, it's good in the winter when you're busy, and obviously got the <coughs> dog. Um, Right. You, you grab a little feed then. Oh. So I think we've turned a big corner with that little horse. Uh, really pleased with how things were going. Uh, I just felt good about it. But I'd got another horse to see. So really I was, I was pretty much ready to, to swap horses really. But another problem is uh, 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 I'd been made aware of another problem which was that, you know, in the, in the winter, they've got a horse walker there and they do take advantage of it. Uh, all the people there, you know, they, they, they put the horse in the horse walker, got a very nice footing in there, a uh, very well built one. But th since the operation, um, the, the, the horse just won't go in there. It won't go in there at all. And um, in fact, before the operation as well, things were getting difficult. Tried feeding it in there and blah, blah, blah. And it just wasn't, it just, there's no way it would go in. So that was going to be difficult, knowing that Trace has got, you know, in the winter, it would help her if other people were putting their horse in, you know, you could put the mare in there. So I thought to myself, do you know what? I'm going to see whether I can help with that. So you'll see now what happens after the groundwork we'd done, you know, I had a suspicion the horse might, uh, might kind of, follow our lead, but you'll see exactly what she does. Hey Iris, look at the beautiful eyes. Oh, you got beautiful eyes, Iris, didn't you? Hmm? Beautiful, beautiful blue eyes. Iris. The low in the head, still. Oh, don't pack too hard, yeah? You didn't even see her food. No, I know, that's what. You didn't want it to be because of the food. No. Like well, with a trailer you and you put it in the front high so they don't I can't even believe that. I can't. If, if I want to stood here now. <laughs> that like must be magic. <laughs> <laughs> that's brilliant. Well done. But oh, she won't forget that now, see? Just, just chill out with her there. Just rub on her. Like it's nothing. Okay, so I didn't have the camera rolling when you were over here talking to Tracy. We went and got the horse and she wouldn't go in the walker. This is why you brought her over. Yeah, you just saw that though. You, we just saw that, yeah, going straight in. But, but because of the groundwork you'd done previously. Well, I think it's because we're all doing a bit with her. I, she didn't kind of have her own way with the catching. We got that yeah, kind of her thinking to hook on a bit. It's a pleasurable thing to get caught. I'm not gonna, we put her in the field. She was brilliant in there. I didn't expect to be that good in there. 
That's brilliant. So she'll have that thought now. I think you can hopefully, between you really, if you're a bridesmaid, you've got Alpha. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you've got to... Thank Over you. the world tracking round for 20 minutes with her thinking, why won't she go in that bloody walker? <laughs> yeah, no, that's brilliant. Honestly, before, she was such a lovely mare. She's very honest and she's such a Do you a feel lovely, like you, you, you feel mare. a little bit more confident yeah. that she, this is you can get her back? This is why I was so freaked out that I thought I'd lost my bond. I didn't just know that I had nothing. Yeah. It happens and though. It does happen. That's horsemanship. They say, you know, you can ruin a horse in one branding if you've got a bloke with... Mm. British hands here yeah. in America. One, you know, you can ruin in a heartbeat, you can send horses back. So, are we moving on to the next horse? Yeah, now? we're going to let that horse. Uh, well, really, that's ideal, isn't it? Do you want to walk round with her? Only right. when she's finished. Is yeah. she finished? Is she finished? Uh, looks like it. Uh, yeah, we're going to go. Turn, mate. Right, rub on her. step back so she knows she can move that's it rubber job done forward now what I would do stop it count of three right now let her relax there back her up a little bit look at her feet release her back yeah rubber when she goes forward on her own back her up so I would probably spend the next time I'd spend a while there so she doesn't keep thinking she's too close to this. She needs she wants to be back a bit, yeah? It's not a sudden stop then. And she, so I would get comfortable being away from it. Um it's good actually. Now you can lower it here. Remember to look at the spot you're lowering. Yeah? And um, just think down. Yes. Yes. And one more time. Think down. Good girl. I just do it again. Huh? Yeah, but you thought it and you looked at it. Yeah. It's good. Right then. Do you know what? So what? I'm really? going to move this yeah. so that she doesn't think she's going to be going home for it. Okay. And then, if you want to give them, go forward a bit. Now, if you give them me, right, and then you go forward a bit. Yeah. Good girl. Good girl, Bella. Good girl, Bella. So we just left now, and Karen and, and Tracy. Tracy have told you you need to come here. Yes. So what's that about then? Well, they sell everything. They sell Aria, Fairfax, and so. So that's it. Then another bank loan. Another bank loan. No. We could just look, can't we? Yeah. You just look. I don't think so. <laughs> Mind you, this is a big place, isn't yeah, it? It's a big posh pit they didn't sell hotel rooms. We've got to try and find a yeah. hotel room as well now. Yes. Because we've got two more horses to do tomorrow. Wow. Push the button to open.
How are you bought, Tan? Me too. No, the fans are doing it. What's that then, Seb? Just a little base liner. Both area? Yeah. <laughs> Are you happy now? Yes, thank you. What's the saying? Happy, happy wife. wife, happy life. Yeah. Oh dear. We'll find a hotel now. A pub. You've got to stay in a pub. Have you? Yeah, got a pub. The red dress you come back and get. Will you and give to my friends? What if it's one of these? Oh, it'll be one of those. That'll be right nice, that. Yeah, that's fine. Wow, what a lovely little find. Look at these lovely little rooms. Now this is number five. And guess what? You have it. It's got a bath. I've already been in and I've started it. Silly little things. I've even got bubbles. It's a deep one. Oh, it's lovely. Oh. Look at my hair. <laughs> so how did today go? I can't even talk, I'm that hungry. What have you ordered me? Uh, beer battered uh, cod. Lovely job, what have you had? I've had a cheese plate. Oh, right. Cheese and crackers and wine. Mm -mm. Yeah, go on. So, how did the horses go today? Uh, do you know what? I think we had a real, real successful day today. Do you? I think, I think um, Tracy and Karen, uh, Karen uh, both really enjoyed, really got something out of it. Um, and I think, I mean, bo both have asked if we're ever coming up this way again, to pop in again. It's one of those things, I wish it was closer, really. Do you know what I mean? To, to be able to help more. But no, I, I, I really hope that Tracy gets on better with the horse because things have broke down quite a little bit. Um, and what a nice horse. And the horse has been through the wars, hasn't it? With all of the operations and everything. And Tracy too. And Tracy too. Yeah. Um, Yes, and Tracy too. So we found a lovely place, or you found a lovely place. I found a lovely place. Yeah, to stop. Uh, this, is, this is lovely, isn't it? Really? Uh, so that's great. At the end of a... And it's literally, tomorrow we've got two horses. Yeah. One... Um, In the morning. One yeah. morning, half nine, ten o'clock. Mm -hmm. And then a horse... And then, then, then... An hour away. One that's been on my mind for yeah. quite a little bit. Yeah. That's the one that we're... The, the blind horse. people and then hopefully when all that's done we head back don't we head back home yeah because that would have been a week wouldn't it a whole week away uh, but i've yeah. done my time <laughs> what a great we in love, all fairness you know we love being away but we love going, going home, home don't we? what I what, going what a busy home. week coming up and Horse working horses riding, on the way weddings bands bands oh but do you know what we've had an amazing time we have had a great time. we've had a you got yourself a peroni there peroni a mega, mega pint a mega pint <laughs> <laughs> i poured myself a mega, mega pint, pint. Um, uh, no i poured myself a large glass of red wine <laughs> i thought it necessary <laughs> yeah. you, you poured yourself a um a mega pint of red wine Correct. A mega pint. Yeah. I poured myself a large glass of wine. Right. Oh my God, Tanya, you just give me that. I haven't stopped laughing. That was brilliant. You got more favours, hasn't he, old Johnny Depp? Good old Johnny. Because of his. Uh, what's it? So we wait for our meal now. Then that's it. Hasta luego. That's so nice. grande. Fish chips. Oh, and sauce and mushy peas. Can't that. What have you had? That's I've had because I've had a lovely glass of wine. That's a very minimalistic, but that looks nice. Oh, and I've got cheese, cheeses, crackers, chutney, chutney. Lovely. That suits just me. Just waiting for my. Just uh, fine. Just waiting. You're waiting for, for your ketchup. Ketchup. So yeah, what does say, the mother tomato, mother tomato say to, to the, the baby ketchup. tomato crossing the road? Yeah, ketchup. ketchup. <laughs> That's definitely the end of the video now. It is a long video. You know, again, you know, if you don't want to hear a lot of the talking, just skip on. But I, I learned more by watching the whole process. And that's the only way to learn, really, um, is, to, is to see right from beginning to end. And we try to cut nothing out. So, yeah, that's the end of the video. 
you know, for my channel, for our horsemanship channel. Uh, if you can like, share, and comments are fantastic as well. Keep keep us going, keep us alive, and uh, yeah, till the next video. Again, happy trails and uh, wish us luck, guys, because I've got this this um, uh, clinic and a bit of a demo and all those horses to work on my holiday in my caravan next week. But uh, I'm sure it'll be fine and hopefully some good videos for you to see. So yeah, happy trials again and uh, see you next time.